So I am having one of those days where everything goes wrong, you're stressed, and then you forget one thing, and you're spiraling, and it's just not fun. So we're gonna deep breath, and talk about things that I like to cheer me up. Hello, my name is Hannah, welcome back to my channel. This is a current faves video. We have got some books, TV, styly fashion things, podcast, a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be great. As always, first of all, books. I have not been reading anywhere near as much as I would like to have been in 2019 so far, but hopefully we can pick up the pace for the second half of the year because there are just so many books that I want to read. I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is about a 1950s actress, celebrity, idol, and she is old and a young journalist um, is interviewing her about her life. I don't want to give too much away, but there's like vital plot points in the story that get revealed a bit later on, but I feel like you should know so that you know that you want to read this. All I'll say is there is a good representation of different sexualities in the book. That's all, that's all I'm gonna say. So you can enjoy it, but I just, I just need you to know that this book is pretty gay. I feel like that might be valuable information. I love this book, I just completely tore through it. It's mostly set in Hollywood and it's about all the different studios and fame and privacy and relationships and oh, also about death. Oh, there's so much, it's great. Another book that I want to share with you that I read is Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. I haven't read her Normal People yet and I've heard from different friends that they either love one or the other. I loved Conversations with Friends, so we'll see how I feel about Normal People. Um, but Conversations with Friends is kind of one of those books where like nothing happens in it. It is purely just about a group of people, all of them aren't very great people, but you don't have to like the characters in order to like get into the story and into their heads. There's also a fair bit of queerness in this book and cheating and swapping partners. <laughs> it's very strange. I can see why some people wouldn't like it. it. The style is not for everyone, but I was really into it, even though I really disliked the narrator. <laughs> Just didn't really care for her all that much, but it was great. I really enjoyed it. I read both of those books on Kindle, hence why I don't have a physical copy, but I am currently reading Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I'm like this far through and it has to be a favourite because I am just loving it. There's so much, it's quite long, but it's so good. It's just so beautifully written and I just am so engaged with everything that is happening in it. I'm going to totally butcher the pronunciation of character names, but this is how I've been saying it in my head. If anyone is Nigerian, please correct me. Um, but it's about Ifemelu and Obeens, who, Obeens, now that I've said that aloud, that does sound strange. Like beans, like baked beans. I don't know, Abins? But then that sounds like bins. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, the two of them, uh, meet in high school and they fall in love and they're in a relationship and then Ifemlu goes to America to go to university and they like drift apart and Obins goes into undocumented life in Britain and the book starts though when Ifemlu's a bit older and she's decided to move back to Nigeria and her ex is very successful now and has a wife and a kid and but then it goes back in time and it starts like from the beginning of their relationship and it's like taking you all the way through back to that moment. So, ah, oh, we'll see. I don't know how it ends yet, we will see. Now on to a couple TV faves for you. The first one is Love and Death and Robots, which is a series of lots of different short animations all around the theme of love and death and robots. Oh, they're so cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're all 
18 plus because they're quite violent some of them and like scary and there's a lot of sex in some of them some of it's quite fantasy and then others is like sci-fi there's a lot going on there are so many different episodes of it but each one is self-contained and they're pretty short like maybe between like 10 and 15 minutes each but other than all of the different stories that happened which are just all brilliant one of my favorite things about it was the different styles of animation i feel like because there are just a few big production companies disney being one of them that make animation that that is the only style of animation that we see and like how there are many many infinite different styles of art there are actually different styles of animation we've just been so used just to seeing one kind for so long and so if you're into art or into animation holy shit watch this series because each episode i'm assuming is done by a different artist and a different animator because oh just blown away by the beauty of some of it and the different styles and i was just like why isn't more stuff like this getting made and that's kind of why i love spider-man into the spider-verse as well i feel like that really like pushed the boundaries a bit of what animation we're seeing on the big screen it was stunning some of the episodes did fuck me up a bit because of like how scary or traumatizing they were like there were a few where i was like i can't keep watching i need a break in the same way that i'm like with black mirror i'm just like I need a breather, I can't continue. And then my second TV favorite is Dead To Me, which is another Netflix show. And the basic premise is a woman's husband dies in a hit and run. She goes to like a grief counseling group and makes friends with another woman there. But turns out she was the one that hit her husband in the car. Oh! And mystery, intrigue, comedy, female friendship ensues it is really good and i love how they've set it up for season two and i cannot wait i have a musical favorite for you yes i did go to see come from away again i guess that is going to be just a favorite of all time i freaking love come from away but i also wanted to give a massive shout out to six the musical oh boy it's about henry the eighth's six wives and it's basically the queens battling it out to see who had it worse and becoming a pop star band together. It is so fun and so ridiculous. And I like to think it's gonna be our Hamilton, because like Hamilton is about American history, and then Six is about our history, and the opening song is very similar to Cell Block Tango and like that kind of style, but with divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived, which we all know if you went to school in the UK. It's time for a podcast fave and I'm going to be real cheeky and plug my own podcast, Doing It. If you didn't know, I launched a new podcast recently. It's where I get to sit down with lots of interesting people and chat with them, interview them about sex, dating, relationships, bodies, all of that good stuff. There have been nine episodes so far and videos come out every hump day, every Wednesday. So there'll be an episode tomorrow and that is with Shan Booty. She is brilliant, I love her. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, diving into a bit more detail around all of these topics and different people's experiences, then I would really appreciate it if you checked it out. Also, Side note, and a thing that I'm really proud of, I managed to get the domain doingit.com. So I would really appreciate it if you just all headed over to doingit.com because that exists and I own it. <laughs> Next up, I've got some fashion favorites. You may have seen these all over my Instagram, but basically I joined the Lucy and Yak cult and I now own these bad boys. They are high-waisted rainbow trousers. Oh, they are phenomenal. I have been wearing them constantly. I just, I love them so much. They're so easy. And also it's like a really high, high, high waist. And it actually goes really quite small around the waist, which suits me very well because I have a tiny, tiny waist. And then the other thing I got from them is these dungarees. Oh, they are just glorious. Again, been wearing them constantly. I love the color and the pattern and they are just so comfy. Yeah, 
I've, I've officially joined the Luciniac cult, there's no going back now. And these are already proper scuffed up, but my other faves are these orange trainers. They're not Adidas, they are cheap ones that are meant to like look like Adidas, <laughs> I think. I don't know. I got them on ASOS. Again, wearing these constantly, they are so comfy. I wore my Converse again the other day and it was horrendous. After I've had my feet in these, I don't think I can go back to Converse. Like, that was horrific. It, these things are by far superior. About a year ago, I saw Ruby on the Great British Bake Off wearing orange trainers and I was like, ooh, I want some orange trainers. They look amazing. And then a year later, I got some on sale. So I'm really proud of myself for this like non-impulsive purchase. I've been thinking about it for a year. 12 months later, I was still interested in orange trainers and I waited until I could get some on sale. So very proud of this purchase. Wish I could make all of my clothes purchases with that much thought, um, but do not regret wearing constantly. And finally, these just arrived today actually, but I just had to mention them. These beautiful earrings from Eclectic Eccentricity. If you're ever curious about where my earrings or necklaces are from, like 90% chance it is from them. They are gifted and I have a discount code for you. So if you use the code HANNAH when you check out, it gets you 10% off and that's also an affiliate code. So I get a little kickback from any purchases made from that. Oh, these are my newest ones from them. Little shuttle, little astronaut earrings. I love them, I'm obsessed. They do loads of different kinds of space jewelry and they just released a new collection of their space themed stuff. So definitely check it out and use Hannah to get 10% off. You are welcome. In gaming, I guess, I just wanted to give a big shout out to my Twitch community. It is so fun. Sorry that I can't do it that regularly, but I do bloody love it when I do. I've been recently streaming Portal. I did a playthrough of Portal 1 and now I'm doing Portal 2 and I've never played them before. So I think the next time I stream will be Portal 2. Who knows? I've been loving, loving those games. And then also Twitch sings. So Twitch like made its own karaoke game basically. So that's a load of fun. Even if I'm not streaming, I basically now just have free karaoke at home bloody brilliant. So yeah, if you're interested in live streams and gaming content, definitely go follow me on Twitch. Also, if I reach 400 patrons on my Patreon account, then I'm going to do a six hour Twitch stream. <laughs> Why? <laughs> six hour Twitch stream and patrons get to decide what I do in that time, whether it's playing games, doing karaoke, just sitting and chatting. So if we hit 400, I'm going to do a six hour Twitch stream, oh boy. And I was also thinking, but I've not decided what charity yet, but any money raised through bits during that six hour live stream to donate to charity as well. So I need to have a think about that, but need to hit 400 patrons first for that to happen. So I'll leave a link in the description to all of that as well. Hannah from the future here. Since filming that video, I've actually hit 400 patrons. Oh my goodness, thank you so much much so for scheduling in this six hour live stream put in your diaries sunday the 25th of august 12 pm until 6 pm so that's the bank holiday weekend in the uk so hopefully people are around and chilling on that sunday afternoon and we can have a live stream together it's also going to be a charity live stream so any bits donated through twitch will be going to charity and again people who are patrons or if you become a patron before then, you can help decide what games we play, what activities we do, and also help decide what charity slash charities we want to donate to. So that's exciting. Sunday, 25th of August, 12 till 6 p.m. Charity live stream, six hours. Ah! And also my next goal on Patreon is 500 patrons and that would mean doing a 12 hour live stream. Just so you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments some of your recent favorite things that you think I should check out. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm making new videos every week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.